Yes, we are here with Frank Conniff, who played TV's Frank on Mystery Science Theater and is also in Cinematic Titanic. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, we're starting out by uh, giving our audience sort of a background of everyone associated mm -hmm. with uh, Cinematic Titanic. So what were your sort of um, origins with Mystery Science Theater 3000? How did you get involved with it, and how did that ultimately roll over to your involvement with Cinematic Titanic? Uh, well, I, I, I got involved with Mystery Science Theater because uh, I was uh, doing stand-up comedy in Minneapolis in the late 80s, and I knew... Uh, Joel and uh, Trace and Josh and Mike Nelson and uh, we were all friends and then um, when uh, Joel uh, got Mystery Science Theater going, um, you know, it got picked up by the Comedy Channel and in their second season, uh, Josh left the show to go to LA and, um, I, uh, and they had an opening and I was just there and they said, hey, come on. It's good. Yeah, just it's a, just a matter of being really, really lucky. It's all, there, it's all it was about. And so once you're involved with that, how did that ultimately roll to Cinematic Titanic? Well, we, you know, uh, I did Mystery Science Theater for five seasons, and then I moved to L.A. myself, and 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 then and Joel was out there, and Trace was out there, and Josh was out there, and then um, I, I think it was kind of during the writer's strike that mm. we we all. Um, uh, decided to do it and also we started to realize that you know all these years after we had done the show that it was more popular than ever people yeah. were always talking to us about it and it seemed like uh, history had been kind to it and 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 we were kind of you know thought oh it'd be really fun to work together again and so we just we just did it ourselves That's and put, put it all together yeah, yeah. And uh, how does uh, performing Cinematic Titanic live, how does that atmosphere compare with when you would film Mystery Science Theater in a studio? Um, it's much more fun, you know. It's, um, it's, it's the live audience just gives us so much energy, and, and, and we get such great audiences. And they're, um, you know, the laughter for me, it's like crack, you know. <laughs> I need more and more and more of it, and uh, so, I, so I love doing the show live. Do you have any other projects that you might want to share with people or give us uh, an idea that we can pay attention to in the future? Um, well, I have a show that I do uh, in L.A. called Cartoon Dump, which is a um, uh, which incorporates really awful Saturday morning cartoons from mm -hmm. the 50s, 60s, 70s, and it's like a kids show but you know it's a really disturbing dark and uh very wrong uh, uh Patton Oswalt who's been in the show a few times he he described it as like a kids show in Bosnia <laughs> so uh um so I do that and we did there are um um webcasts of it available but wow. we but we did the so I think you can go to like cartoondump.com um but we did those like a long time ago, and, and the show has kind of evolved a lot since then. So I don't consider those totally representative of, of what it, you know of what the show is. But we're you know, hopefully we'll be doing more of those. And, and you know we'd like to do it as you know uh, we're talking to people about doing it on TV, mm -hmm. like on Adult Swim or Comedy great. Central wow, or something great. like great. that. You know hope you know hope <laughs> we'll see. Who knows? But Sweet. we're trying to get that yeah. going. And uh, according to the Internet Movie Database, when you were on Mystery Science Theater, you were responsible for picking the movies. Is this true or another Internet inaccuracy? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is true. I was, um, for, s for several seasons, for the first couple seasons, it was just, you know, it was kind of an informal thing where everybody just looked at it. And then, uh, you know, I think people got so busy with stuff that I was given the specific task of looking at the box of VHS tapes that came in that uh, that uh, Comedy Central sent us, mm. um, and uh, and so I would just go through the initial process of looking at them, and then I, if something looked promising, I'd watch the whole thing, and then I'd go and I'd and I'd show it to everybody, and I'd say, hey, we maybe we should do this, and then either everyone would agree, or you know, occasionally they'd say, no, nah, you know, that's not. That would be too painful or whatever, you know. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, so that, you know, it's just a kind of a process of someone weeding through, you know, because mm. for every movie that we picked and we did, there were maybe, you know, 20 or 30 that, that didn't make mm -hmm. the cut, you know. All right. Well, thank you so much for your thank time. You. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Thanks.